Hey folks, Yarek here. Welcome to Amberskip. Over the last two years we hunted and found a lot of fossilized corals and other fossils and today is the day to clean them up. And for that I will try to use high pressure water. These are all the specimens from the hands I was talking about. And let's pick the first one and try to clean it off. Uh, which one should it be? Let's try... This one first, the dirtiest. Okay, let's see <laughs> what is gonna happen now. The first uh, um, impressions are extraordinarily positive and yeah, <laughs> let's keep going, let's try more. Uh, next, gonna be a chain coral. Not sure if it's gonna clean, but we will test it out. We might ruin this one, but, but I have plenty more, so this is gonna be a test subject. Okay, so we have a positive that it is summer because I couldn't have done this not in the summer. I'm soaked. All of me, but we do we do have the results. So let's check them out. And so we did clean a lot, especially from this side. The chains are clearly visible. It does destroy them a bit, but uh, fossilization of the chains, these chains are quite strong. So yeah, very cool specimen. The rest of it, maybe I will try to remove some of the matrix with the Dremel and maybe some with the acid, I don't know, but so far pretty good. Just it took a lot longer than the Heliolithus coral. Okay, this should clean into good results, I believe that. Filming this proves difficult because the camera gets wet very fast and we, we see it on the blue review. But all that matters are the results. Look at here go. <laughs> yep, all the holes more clean now. And yeah, the, a lot more structure is visible. I, I don't know if I recommend this method if you don't have many fossils. Uh, because we can destroy them uh, potentially, but in my case I have lots of these and yeah, we can experiment <laughs> how to clean those. Looks very cool now. Cleaning corals with water pressure proved very effective not only to remove all the dirt, but even to remove some of the matrix from the fossils. But for that you have to spend quite a bit of time to happen and it's more dangerous too. Watching dirt being washed with this tool sometimes felt extremely satisfying, but the process was quite repetitive, so I decided not to film all the corals being cleaned because I have three boxes of this. That took a while, but results are in. Some are better, some are worse, I, I will show you the best ones. My favorite one by far is this chain coral. I could potentially clean it even more with water pressure, but I was afraid for these chains to get damaged. Either way, this chain coral is not done yet. I will still test it in the acid 
And the second favorite is this Heliolita Stablade Coral. Looks like a fat baguette. Very complete specimen with root visible from the bottom. And yeah, this is it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Maybe water pressure cleaning might be effective to you too. Because from now on I'm cleaning corals only this way. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!